The supernova itself has uh, characteristics that tend toward chemical um, complexities developing. You have merging, you have chemical reactions taking place that actually bring you even heavier and heavier elements in the periodic table. These get dispersed into the interstellar medium. Then you have, again, this interstellar gas and dust clouds, but now they've been seeded with heavier elements from these exploded stars. The next generation of stars, remember stars are just when, when swirls of this interstellar gas and dust begin to collapse under their own gravity, that the, the self-gravity overcomes any of this you know, sort of random motion, the next generation has some of this heavier stuff in it. The star collapses, it still goes through those same processes, but this, this star now generation now has a few more of these heavier elements involved, goes through the whole process and so forth, another supernova cycle. You get to a point where you get a generation of stars forming that have enough heavier elements in this interstellar medium that you can actually form solid bodies in the sort of formation disk area. We call it an accretion disk at first, and it turns into a debris disk later on around these stars. And because there are heavier elements now in this interstellar medium out of which the star is forming, you can actually get dusty blobs or what become planets forming. Those planets are what we rely on, these terrestrial planets. Uh, we need to have life as we know it to actually exist. So we actually needed a few cycles of stars to get terrestrial planets. And then of course the life as we know it relies on uh, some of these heavier elements including carbon and oxygen and so forth to exist in order for the bodies that we enjoy to be able to to exist as well. So it is believed that every element in our body and that we depend on sitting here has been fabricated in stars. And that's really quite an amazing process if you think about it, because then you sort of, as a Christian, you think that stars are not just beautiful to look at, they're actually God's factories for creating what we need to live with, and, and then we appreciate them even more.